Okay, so we're going to talk you through good posture to start with. Please avoid sitting like this. This is bad posture, slumped in the chair. We want you to sit up tall, move to the front half of your seat, nice and upright, shoulders pulled back and down, feet hip width apart, chin parallel to the floor, and this is good posture. We'll remind you of this throughout the DVD. Moving on to your warm up then. The warm up is essential to prepare your muscles for exercising and to prevent injury. Come on, let's get started. So moving your hands to the side of your chair there just to support your back to begin with. We'll start off with a gentle march. So just lifting your legs alternately off the floor. If you wish, you can bring in an arm swing. Remember and try and keep that posture nice and upright. And we'll stop that there in three, two, one, and stop. Moving on to our neck now to get the neck mobilized, we're going to turn our head as far as we can to one side and then bring it back to the center. And again, as far as we can to the other and back to the center. Keep going, trying to get as much movement as you can there in your neck just as far as you can move there comfortably. And just one more now to each side. Well done and stop there. Okay, bringing in those arms again to get the shoulders moving just to swing the arms back and forth. Remember, it's just the warm up, so we're gently getting our bodies warmed up. So don't go too strong straight from the beginning. And we'll stop the arm swings there in three, two, one, and stop. Keeping with the shoulders, we're going to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears and bring them back down again and again shrugging the shoulders up towards the ears and back down now moving on to a shoulder circle so bringing your shoulders up pulling them back and round again up back and round and one last time up back and round Again, staying with our shoulders, this time we're going to take our hands onto our shoulders, then take them out to the side, and then back to the shoulders, and stretching up towards the ceiling. Back to the shoulders, out to the side, again to the shoulders, and stretching up. Good, keep going with me. Stretching up as far as you're able there. Back down, we'll do that two more times. Last time then, out to the side and then back up again. Well done, taking your hands back down. Again, just taking that back into your march. Get the legs going, bringing in the arm swings again. And we'll stop there in three, two, one and stop. Okay, place your hands across your chest now. We're going to get our spines moving a little bit more. So we're going to turn our body, taking our shoulders and our head round to the side as far as you're able, and then back to the middle. And then over to the other side, and back to the middle. Again, over to the side, just as far as you can comfortably, and back round to the other side and round. You might feel as you do this exercise that you can go further the more of these exercises that you do. Keep going. Two more times to each side. Last one then. Well done, take your hands back down again. Okay, moving on to our legs a little bit more now. You might want to just hold on to your chair to support your back there as we gently just kick our leg forward and then swap over to the other leg. 
and then just keep gently kicking those legs forward. Well done. And then taking it back into the march to get the hips moving as well. So you should be starting to feel a bit more warmed up by now. We're almost done with the warm up, just a couple of exercises left. So we'll stop the marching in three, two, one, and stop. Just bring your feet slightly forward. Remember, keeping nice and upright with our posture. We're going to start there by tapping our toes, getting the ankle joint mobilized now. And we'll stop there. And then we're just going to take one foot forward, lift that slightly off the floor and just circle your ankle there for me. Trying to get as much movement as you can through your ankle. One more time. And placing it back on the floor, swapping to the, your other foot. Again, lifting that leg slightly off the floor. And again, as big a movement as you can, making big circles with your ankle there. One more time. And placing it back down on the floor. Okay, so just a couple of stretches now to prepare our muscles for exercises ahead. So we're going to move on first of all to our arm stretch. So I'd like you to place your hand onto your shoulder and then just crawl it down your back a little bit. Take your other hand across and just support your elbow there and gently push that elbow up towards the ceiling. That's what you're aiming to, to do, to try and feel a stretch in this muscle here. Now, if you can manage that, hold that there. If you're struggling with that exercise, here's an alternative. You can take your arm across your body and either below or above your elbow, you can pull that arm across your body. Again, you should be feeling the stretch here in your upper arm. So it's up to you to choose which stretch suits you better, either this one or the very first one that I showed you. Okay, relaxing your arm down. So for your other arm, stick with the stretch that suits you best. I'm going to go for the first option, which is hand to the shoulder, crawling that hand down your back, and again, just gently pushing that elbow up towards the ceiling, and hold that there. <laughs> and relax your arm down, well done. Okay, moving on to a stretch now for the middle part of our body. We're going to take our hand and place it at the side of our chair. Take your other hand across your body to the side of your knee. Sitting up tall again, we're going to turn our shoulders and our head round to the side. So you should feel that stretch around your middle and hold that there. Good, and relax your body back round to the centre. And then to the other side, the very same, take your hand again to the side of the chair. Take your other hand across your body to the side of your knee. Again, sitting up tall, then just turn your shoulders and your head round to the side as far as you can. And hold that stretch there. And relax and come back to the centre. And moving on to our last stretch now for the back of our thigh. You need to come forward in your chair for this last one, but just be careful you don't come too near the edge that you slip off. Okay, and you want to straighten your leg out in front. Again, you're going to sit up nice and tall. You're going to place your hands onto your bent leg. Your ankle, your foot and ankle are relaxed. Your knees nice and straight, but not locked out, just gentle and soft at the knee there. Sitting up tall, we're going to bend forward from the hips, keeping our head and chest up until you feel that stretch down the back of the leg there and hold that there. And just remember, it should just feel like a gentle pull. It shouldn't feel painful. If it does, you might need to ease up a little bit on the stretch. And pushing up through your hands there, sliding that foot back in. We're going to swap over to the other leg. So taking your other foot in front, again, foot relaxed, hands onto the bent leg, sitting up nice and tall there, bending forward from the hips, keeping your chest and your head up and hold that stretch there. 
And again, gently pushing up through your hands, sliding that foot back in again. And hopefully you're feeling a bit warmed up now because that's us completed our warm up. Well done. We're going to move on to the main strength and balance exercises now. So going on to our strength section, we're going to do our sit to stand. So first of all, we want to make sure we're in the correct position. So we're going to come forward to the front edge of the chair, making sure our feet are hip width apart. Toes are going to be tucked in behind your knees, sitting up nice and tall, and we're going to strengthen your thighs. So this is a great exercise for getting out of cars, for walking up and down the stairs, for getting out baths, etc. So this is a great exercise. So from here, sitting up nice and tall, feet hip width apart, I'm going to hold on to the chair for support and then very slowly leaning forward and one, two, three, pushing up to stand. When we get here, we want to have a wee march just to get our circulation going. And then very slowly, we're going to step back, feel for the chair, feet hip width apart, very slowly, we're going to come down. We're going to stick that back side as far back in the chair, feeling for the chair, keeping your head up and slowly sitting down. Good. Then again, coming forward. Again, tucking your toes behind your knees, feet hip width apart, holding on to the chair for support. Very slowly, we're going to lean forward and then one, two, three, pushing up and have a wee march. Then again, stepping back, feel for the chair, very slowly coming down, sticking that back side out, keeping your head up, feel for the chair, very slowly sitting down. Good. Then again, coming forward, tuck your toes behind your knees, again holding on to the chair for support, feet hip width apart, very slowly, leaning forward, one, two, three, pushing up to stand, again have a march. Then again, stepping back, feeling for the chair with both legs, very slowly, coming down, sticking that back side out, keeping your head up, feeling for that chair, and very slowly sitting down. Good. Then again, coming forward, tuck your toes behind your knees, feet hip width apart, very slowly, lean them forward, one, two, three, pushing up to stand. Good. Have a march. Then again, stepping back, feel for the chair, very slowly coming down, keeping your head up, and slowly sitting down. Good. Then again, coming forward. Tuck your toes behind your knees, feet hip width apart, slowly leaning forward, one, two, three, pushing up to stand. Have a march. Then again, stepping back, feel for the chair, very slowly coming down, sticking that back side out, feel for the chair, keeping that head up, and slowly sitting down. Good. Then again, coming forward, tuck your toes behind your knees. This time I'm going to make it slightly harder, so I'm going to place my hands on my thighs this time so you can progress onto that slightly harder level. So again, sitting nice and tall, hands on my thighs, and then slowly leaning forward, one, two, three, pushing up to stand. Good. And then again, stepping back, feel for the chair, placing your hands down, keeping your head up, feel for that chair, slowly sitting down. Good. And then again, coming forward. Tuck your toes behind, hands on thighs, very slowly, lean them forward, remembering to keep your knees hip width apart, pushing up, nice and slowly, nice and tall, remember to keep breathing. So very slowly we're going to step back, feel for the chair, nice and slowly coming down, keeping that head up, sticking your backside out, very slowly sitting down. So from here we're going to go into a slightly harder option, we're going to come forward again in the chair, tucking your toes in behind your knees, crossing your hands over, and then very slowly we're going to lean forward, pushing up to stand. Good. Have a march. Then slowly stepping back, feeling for the chair. Making sure you can feel the chair, remember, with both legs. Very slowly we're going to come down, sticking that back side out. Feel for the chair, keeping your head up, and very slowly sitting down. Good. So for the last one, we're going to come forward, and for the last one, you've got the option of either to place your hands on your thighs 
or your hands cross over. Again, tuck your toes behind your knees. I'm going to cross my hands over. So very slowly, lean them forward. One, two, three, pushing up to stand. Good, have a march. And then again, stepping back. Feel for the chair, very slowly, coming down. Feel for the chair, keeping your head up. And slowly sitting down, good. And have a wee march. So from here we're then going to go into a balanced exercise. So from here we're going to have to come forward again in your chair. Tuck your toes behind your knees, hold on to the chair for support. Then very slowly we're going to lean forward and one, two, three, push up to stand. We're going to have a march and then we're going to come round to the side and use the chair for a balanced exercise. So from here, moving on to balance, ideally we're going to have the chair, a nice sturdy chair, holding on with two hands. We're going to stay nice and tall. In this exercise, we're actually working on our balance and we're also getting ankle mobility within here, but we're also incorporating strength work, so we're actually helping to strengthen up our calf muscles too. So again, we're going to place two hands on the chair, standing up nice and tall. Our knees are going to be slightly bent. We don't want to lock out our knees. And then very slowly, we're going to come up Raising our heels off the floor, nice and tall. Try not to be dependent on the chair. You want to be nice and relaxed. Both hands on, then slowly come back down. Good. Then again, slowly coming back up. And back down. Good. So again, raising those heels. Knees nice and soft, shoulders back, hands nice and relaxed. And down. Good. Then again. Slowly coming up, knees slightly bent, shoulders back, hands nice and relaxed, and relax. So hopefully at this stage you should feel a bit of shiggling going on with your ankles. If you're not, you must be finding it too easy. So in that respect, we then want to try and reduce our hand support. So as we come up, we can take one hand off, still stay nice and tall, holding that, nice and relaxed and back down. Good. We can use the opposite hand, slowly coming back up, knees slightly bent, nice and tall, and relax. Good. Opposite hand, slowly coming back up, and relax. Good. Then again, slowly coming back up, fingertips slightly hovering on top of the chair, and slow down. Good. And then one last one, Slowly coming back up, fingertips lightly holding on, and relax. Good. Well done. Have a march. So the next one we're going on to is our squat exercise. Again, we're concentrating on strength work, strengthening up our thighs. So we want to hold on to the chair with two hands. Again, keeping your feet hip width apart. Nice and tall, nice and relaxed. Remember, ideally try and keep breathing. So very slowly, we're going to come down. Now you're just going at your own pace and you're just going as low as you feel comfortable with. Importantly, you want to try and stick that backside out. You want to keep nice and tall and relax and come back up. Ideally, your knees aren't overshooting your toes. So again, nice and tall, slowly coming down. Nice and slow again, you should feel that working your thigh muscles. And again. And up, good. And then again, nice and slowly, coming down. Nice tall back. And up. Good. Then again, slowly coming down. And back up. Good. And again. Hopefully we're all still breathing. And again. Back up, good. Keep going. And up. To the left. And back up. And then last one. And back up, good. Have a march. So our next exercise, again working on balance. I'm going to move to the side of the chair just so you can see properly. Again, ideally, feet hip width apart. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to lift, tap forward with our outside leg, and we're going to lift that knee and hip 
up, raising your toes, and up nice and tall, and relax, good, have a march. Then with our opposite leg, going to tap forward, and to raise that knee and hip up, keeping this area nice and tall, hands nice and relaxed on the chair, and relax, good. And then again, tapping forward, raising that leg up, raising your toes, again, shoulders nice and relaxed, holding that there, and back down, good. And then again, tapping forward, raising your leg up, lifting from your knee and your hip, supported leg, knee should be slightly bent, and relax, good. Then again, opposite leg, tapping forward, raising up, lifting your toes, nice and relaxed, and lower it down, good. So hopefully you should be feeling some shiggling going on. Tap forward again, raising that leg up. If you're finding that fairly easy, think of your hand support. So you can either have all fingers on, one finger, tie up to yourself. Then again, tapping forward, raising that leg up, keeping that nice and tall, holding it there, and relax, good. Have a march. Then again, tapping forward, raising it up, nice and tall, shoulders back, nice and relaxed, and lower that down, good. Two left. So again, tapping forward, raising that leg and knee up, stay nice and tall, nice and relaxed, and lower it down, good. And then last one, tapping forward, raising your knee up and your hip, Stay nice and tall, nice and relaxed. One finger on, and relax, good. Have a march. So the next exercise, I'll go back into the middle of the chair, and from here, we're going to keep working on our hips. So all we're going to do is stay nice and tall, and we're just going to step out to the side, placing all your weight onto that leg, and then back. And then place to the opposite leg, and back, good. So it's entirely up to yourself how far you want to take that stride. But to start off with, nice gentle movements. Again, tie up to yourself how you want to hold on to the chair, whether it be one hand or two hands. Again, we should feel that working in our hip area. And if you want to make it slightly harder, then by all means what we can then do is we'll tap it out and then tap. And for the last one, tap it out and tap. Good, have a wee march. So from here, still sticking with our hips. Ideally what we want to do, nice and tall, very isolated movement. Nice and relaxed, hands on the chair. All we're going to do is just tap back. Again, trying to keep your hips forward, shoulders back, and relax. And relax. Tap back. And relax, good. So it's a very isolated movement. Good. Thinking of your posture. Remember to try and stay nice and tall and to keep breathing. Good. Again, if you want to reduce that hand support, you can take one hand off. Or you can take the opposite hand off. And then, if you want to make it slightly harder, what we can do is tap back, raise it up, back down, and relax. So tap back, raise it up, tap down, and relax. Good. And then have a march. Good. Just march that out. So then from here, we're going to go into our tandem stand. So ideally, again, staying behind the chair, going to place one foot in front of the other. Ideally, if you can keep yourself central to the chair, one foot in front of the other, so ideally it's heel to toe. Knees slightly bent, both hands on the chair. Standing nice and upright, shoulders back, nice and relaxed, and hold that position. 
and relax, good, have a march. So then opposite leg, again heel to toe, both hands on a chair, knees slightly bent, shoulders back and hold that there. And relax, good. Then again, heel to toe, knees slightly bent, shoulders back, hands nice and relaxed. And relax, good. Then again, heel to toe. Both feet ideally flat on the floor. Try not to raise your toes or heels off. Feet nice and flat on the floor. Knees slightly bent. Shoulders back. Hands nice and relaxed. Good. And have a march. Then again. Knees slightly bent. Shoulders back. Hands nice and relaxed. Good. Keep going. And again. Heel in front of your toes. Knees slightly bent, shoulders back, hands nice and relaxed. Good, have a march. So again, thinking of that hand support, ideally we should be feeling some shiggling going on. If not, it's too easy. So we want to try and reduce that hand support. We're going to hold that again nice and tall. Knees slightly bent and relax. Good, have a march. Then opposite leg, again heel to toe. Thinking of reducing that hand support, I'm going to take one hand off, shoulders back, and relax. Have a march. Good. Nearly finished. Heel to toe. Again, think of that hand support. Fingertips slightly holding on. Nice and steady. And relax. Good. And then last one. Again, heel to toe. Knees slightly bent. And fingertips very lightly holding on to the chair. Excellent, well done, good, and have a march. Good, so from here we're then going to go on to the wall press where we're going to be working our upper body, forearms and wrists. So ideally this is helping to strengthen up upper arms, upper body, wrists and forearms. Ideally you want your feet hip width apart, not too far away from the wall, but again not too close. Hands shoulder width apart, keeping your elbows in, and nice and slowly, I'm going to push in and push away. Trying to keep your elbows in, knees slightly bent, and nice and relaxed. Remember to keep breathing. And the last one, relax, excellent, well done. Excellent, and now we're going to do the cool down. So now we're slowly going into our cool down and we want to try and do everything nice and gradual, nice and slow, just to get your heart rate back down. So from here we're going to go into a march. So nice and gentle, you can either hold on to your thighs, or hold on to the chair, whatever you find comfortable. It's just nice and easy, remembering to keep breathing. And then from here, we're then going to go into our shoulder shrugs. So we're just going to raise our shoulders up and back down, good. And then from there, lifting our shoulders up, back and down, good. So again, up, back and down. Again, up, back, and down, last one, up, back, and down, good. Then from here, we're going to slowly raise a leg up, kicking it out, opposite leg. Remember your posture, stay nice and tall. Try not to be tempted to lean back into the chair. Good. Remember your breathing. Good, nice and slow. Good. Last one. And have a wee march. Good. So from here, we're then going to have our feet hip width apart and we're just going to simply tap our toes. So we're raising our toes off the floor, helping with ankle mobility. 
And then from here, we're then just going to rock forwards and backwards. Good, so we're going onto our heels, raising the toes, nice and slowly. Good. And then from there, we're then going to go into our tricep stretch. So we're going to place one hand on your shoulder, taking it as far down your back as you can go. Opposite arm, slowly take that elbow as far up to the ceiling. You should feel a nice stretch down the back of that arm. Again, try not to hold your breath. And again, you can do the alternative exercise. And relax, good. And then opposite arm, place it on top of your shoulder. Walk that hand as far down your back as you can go. Again, slowly taking that elbow as far up to the ceiling. Again, you should feel a nice stretch down the back of your arm. Again, try not to hold your breath, stay nice and relaxed. Try not to lean back into your chair. And relax, good. And then from there, placing both hands on your knees initially, then placing one hand on the chair, opposite hand on the opposite leg, nearest to the chair, and then very slowly turn your upper body towards the opposite side. And relax, good. Then again, place an opposite hand on the chair, one hand on the opposite knee, again very slowly, turning towards the opposite wall, holding that, remember and still breathe. And relax, good. And then from there, we'll then go on to our hamstring stretch. So we're going to place one leg out. Ankle nice and relaxed. Ideally, hopefully, we should be right at the front edge of the chair. We're going to place our hands on the opposite thigh. Knees slightly bent, up nice and tall. From our hips, we're going to slowly lean forward, keeping your head up, but looking straight ahead. We should feel a slight pulling sensation at the back of that thigh. Again, try and keep your head up. Try not to be tempted to put your head down. This is a great exercise for flexibility. It enables us to tie our shoelaces, put our socks on. And relax, good. Have a march, then opposite leg. Take it forward, again, ankle nice and relaxed. Hands on your bent thighs, up nice and tall. From your hips, slowly leaning forward, keeping that head up, but looking straight ahead. And again, you should feel a slight pulling sensation at the back of your thigh. And keep breathing. Excellent. And relax. Good. Have a march. Then go into our calf, calf stretch. Again, we'll take that foot out, up nice and tall, hands on our bent thigh, ankle nice and relaxed. And all we're going to do is place your toes up towards you and hold on to the side of the chair. Slight bend in your knee, nice and tall, nice and relaxed. Good, have a march. And then again, opposite leg, taking that out, ankle nice and relaxed. Then from there we want to try and bring your toes towards your knee up nice and tall, nice and relaxed, and hold that there. Again, slight bend in the knee so we're not locking it out. And relax. Excellent. And last but not least, we're going to go on to our breathing exercise. So we're going to have our hands together, breathing in and out. Nice and slow. Excellent. And that's us finished with our cool down. Well, that's us finished our cool down. Hope you enjoyed it. Aim to do this exercise DVD three times a week. 
and we hope to see you back soon for some more exercises.